Hi everybody, thank you for joining me here at Shanna Sweets. I uh, have another quick card video for you. This one is using a little lace. Um, one of my class participants had made a comment when she just glanced at the uh, catalog when it first came out that she wanted to see this die, this stamp set, and I hadn't, hadn't originally thought about getting it, and then I was like, well, you're right, it is kind of awesome. So I did get it, and I have just absolutely loved it. It comes with this huge background die, and then you can use this, and if you line it up um, with the scallops here, it'll cut out that edge, and it's really awesome. Um, so we no longer sell the Precision base plate, but if you got it before we stop selling it, um, or God forbid you go to, you know, the big box store and get one it definitely you definitely need that um, to get a good cut um, just saying put it out there um, so this um, in this little stamp set I'm not using it today but it is super super pretty too I've done it on another card that I'll probably make a video of too um, but this is super easy super quick um, I do um, I'll show you it the quickest way. Some people um, in my class sponged um, glue. I use glue dots, but um, you can do like a sponging of uh, glue on the back if you want to attach it that way. So, so I've already cut my piece out. Um, I don't know that I would use the adhesive sheet with it. It would be very, I've used it for something else that was just a strip and it was very difficult getting all the little pieces um, out of that that was very intricate like this so the, on the follow your art the button thing so just saying I think it'd be very difficult here so this is terracotta um, tile paper this is cut out of so this one is the um, Rococo Rose eight and a half by um, five and a half folded in half and then like I said I used glue dots I got a paper piercer here and I just kind of positioned them um, to start with in the corners because that's where you want to start with making sure you have it attached down the best and then of course I'm going to be putting my labels here let's see oh, over here so we can put more in this area kind of in this and you got these big spaces here so we're pretty safe in those spots. I have a couple glue dot things ordered. My class coming up, we're not going to use them too much, so I think I'm safe. Plus, if you ever get paper pumpkin, you end up with like all these sheets of glue dots. I never, I hardly ever use the glue dots in my paper pumpkin because I use my sail. But I don't think my class likes using those, so. All right, so, and I, this is cut to the exact front. Now, I didn't poke out all. I did use my, um... So the brush tool is now changed to attach to your picket tool. So it's not the separate one anymore, which is kind of nice because I didn't, you know, I had to carry around a separate one before. So it's kind of nice having it on my pick tool now. All right, so I cut out um, using the frames from the Free as a Bird and so that's actually I want to put my doily down first so 
I need some more dots here. And I want the pearly side up. do like that and this um, this paper is from the mosaic awesome awesome paper and so is the hummingbird um, which I guess I could have I'm not gonna point him I'm just gonna point him going upward it's fine um, some of my peeps move the orientation of their thing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep him going different direction. I'm cool with that. I think we'll just point him flying like that. And then I have a piece, this paper, this little strip is three and a half by half an inch. And we're going to stamp it in Rococo Rose. And I just love the sentiment, just a note to say hello. Which, I have a ton of these cards, so I need to start mailing them to people. And then, I think I've shown this before, but I just love this. I know you can use scissors, but why do that? Why do that when you use the tag punch and you just click? And it makes the perfect banner I just love it just love it and I have some names sometimes have difficulties getting And that just goes down below like that. And then put some pearls. Like that. And then there you go. You got two brand new cards. Lickety split. So, that's it. Quick and easy. If you haven't visited my store in July, this is July host code. You'll get my sweet treat if you use it and spend $25, which for the last part of July here is Christmas in July using winter woods. So thank you for visiting my this uh, video. Please like and share. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for visiting. Bye.